Good morning, everyone. I'm Reverend Pamela M. Pinkney Butts, and I'm a presidential candidate for the United States of America in this 2020 election. The reason that you have not seen my campaign on the broader spectrum is because the catch-22 to this is I am also a victim of human and sexual trafficking. So are my children and now my grandchildren. This has been covered up and done to me, not only through the Bush administration, the Clinton administration, the Obama administration, the current administration, and what they would like to have as a future administration, Biden and Harris. I don't know if you know about uh, Kamala Harris recently signing off at pedophiles uh, after being convicted of uh, being a, uh, abusive, being pedophiles, that they did not have to register themselves as sex offenders for 11 years. Well, I reported my uh, victimization of humanists, of our being victims of human and sexual trafficking to the law enforcement agencies, to the courts, to the Rape Crisis Center to the Department of Children and Family Services, Health and Human Services, to the news media. Carl Mundy has covered this up. Jane Platten, who was uh, over the Board of Elections and has been being shifted around to make this happen to us even more, uh, who went to the prosecutor's office to cover this up, is at Metro Health to cover this up, uh, messing with files, etc. And the list continues. I have a list of defendants that I stated in the federal courts, the state and local courts, uh, the Supreme Courts, and I've been denied legal counsel and the right to represent myself in the courts of law. I have reports that I have filed for the rapes of my children and me, and now there's been abuse to at least one of my grandchildren and other abuses to my grandchildren that the Department of Children and Family Services is covering up here in Ohio, and uh, also in Indiana, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, Mississippi, Michigan, and other places. Under the federal state of evictions, Judge Patrick J. O'Malley and Sean and Magistrate Sean P. Allen violated my safety again. On court record, I have stated that I am a victim of human and sexual trafficking. I have not ever gotten my police report number. And I'm also a presidential candidate in this election. Under Jane Platten's leadership, my ballot was destroyed in the 2008 election when I was a presidential candidate then also. I won't belabor you with a lot of talking because I want you to see this for yourself. And I've been forced to move from one location to another to another. And Judge James Payne of Indianapolis, Indiana, told a preacher that this is the most expensive case ever in history. In other words, an enormous amount of money is being exchanged to put my grandchildren, my children, and me into this position. The police chief of Fairview Park, after uh, endorsing, along with the American Civil Liberties Union, a pro-slavery law in the Cuyahoga County Council on December 5th, 2017, when Michael Gallagher cut off the meeting uh, prematurely so that you all couldn't hear what I was saying in the Public Safety and Justice Affairs Committee meeting, uh, the police chief of Fairview Park came and stood over me in the boardroom and asked me, did my grandchildren have license plates? And I asked him, did he? Uh, look at the meeting yourself. I'm going to just give you a glimpse of what I mean. I didn't come up like this. I was not raised like this, but I'm going to show you. Better not going to tell you. I've been forced to move from one location to another, and 
I've had one trauma after another. Uh, I have been raped more times than you will ever know and it's never been addressed on my behalf. The Cleveland Police Department, when I filed police, police reports, they altered them and they never went anywhere to the Detectives Bureau, to sex crimes, to nothing. I, nowhere, as well as other crimes committed against me. This is the third place I've lived since I've been back in Ohio, and they are crime scenes. When I lived on 88th Street, when I left there, I had my refrigerator rigged up in the ceiling because the landlord took my fuse box out and uh, hid it in the basement and was controlling my electricity. There's a whole story to this uh, because I uh, filed paperwork in the courts and then when I lived in Bedford, they locked me in the building. Uh, they were coming in my place there, doing things to me. And then they, the Department of Children and Family Services turned my children against me. My presidential candidate identification number is P0008839. And it's been in place since November of 2018. I've been a presidential candidate in, in four of these elections. 2008, 2012, 2016. 2012, I was unlawfully detained. And 2000, when I was living uh, at 821 East 88th Street, I was stolen from my home, uh, kidnapped and held against my will and my rights. And I called the FBI for help, and they told me they wouldn't help me. Uh, I had to get out of there. Uh, this is... A yard sign. It was done by uh, Judge Una Keenan's husband, uh, Coy Bush. This is how I'm supposed to live. Social Security wanted me to go into protective custody, but I asked them who protects me from the police. This is America. <laughs> this is what they call fair housing and equal opportunities for females. I'm the chaplain for the East Cleveland chapter of the League of Women Voters.
pretty quiet right now because uh, Taylor Worsham was beating and choking out my daughter yesterday. So I had to call the police again. Of course he got away. He always does. That's my piano that I had inherited. George Baylog and uh, Bedford. The housing in Bedford. They expect me to live like this. I know some people told me I'm not supposed to tell, but I'm telling. I need some assistance. I know you see the conditions of this place, too. Oh, let me take you back in the bathroom. The tub, I never got to take a bath in. Because they won't fix the drain for me to do so. In the house and court, I won't make them do it either. This is owned by All Star Management Company. Services provides for that HUD provides for people to live. This is what public safety does for me. And my children. And now my <laughs> grandchildren. Yeah. This right here is, the, you may not be able to see it very well, but I have other pictures available. Let me put a little light on that situation. Uh, I have some of my other things that have been put away since, uh, for 12 years now. Uh, where the landlord was supposed to fumigate the building and didn't do it. I stepped into the plate on my behalf. Not one. When I say not one, I mean not one. So I'm wondering what they're doing with the money. This is not being used to help me. I've been in the church all of my life. Not one government official is really... Well, I, I can't say not one. I have two, three, four government officials trying to address this for me but they're being shut down too so there's no shame because <laughs> this is not a game this is how people expect me to live this is what you get with all-star management hood Kamala Harris Joe Biden Donald Trump Mike Pence, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, George Bush, one and two. This is what you get. Kanye West. Let's not leave him out the picture. This is what you get. Oh, it's because I have some color in my skin. That's right. I'm not supposed to matter. Turn this so you can see it. Drain backed up. Pray for somebody to see this and reach out to me. Because Colleen Cotter in the Legal Aid Society told me she would never help me with anything 
after she messed up my domestic violence case in Cleveland. Because I was in the hospital at the time of court and the attorney never took the time to find out or look for me because I had been abused again. But no one took the time to find it out. Just like when I was kidnapped out of my home at 821 East 88th Street. It was supposed to be in court from when I got beat up and tortured and thrown in the county jail October of 2008. No one took the time to find out. They were going to issue a warrant for my arrest instead of a missing persons report. This is what the leadership offers today. This is some of what Taylor Warshin did to my home. I said of the trifling behavior of the owners of this place. I asked them to fix this before I was forced to move in here and they didn't do it. And nobody's making them fix it either. They just want me to move to the next trashy place. And the other places that I've lived and I've uh, been victimized, there's videos. I posted them. And not one thing has been done about it on my behalf. But I believe my Jesus Christ, who's the author and finisher of my faith, is going to put somebody in my path to see about my babies. And me. Um, Children's Services sent some papers across state lines and told lies about me to people. When it had people go into the school and steal three of my four babies and tell them that I had given them away and held me against my will and my rights where I was supposed to be safe with my two-year-old and stole my two-year-old. Then made sure I had no legal representation and could not represent myself in the courts of law. Because, oh, I told you James Payne said this is the most expensive case ever in history because uh, Thomas Corbin says that slavery is never to end in America. It's in the 13th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Check it out yourself. Why am I showing you this? Because you need to know the truth. That's going to really make you free. I'm Reverend Pamela and Pinkney Butts. presidential candidate for the United States of America. And also a victim of human sexual trafficking. I've been trafficking my oldest son in these prisons ever since the age of 14. And I'm doing kangaroo court on us. And my youngest daughter, they stole her baby out in the home January 11th of this year and did whatever they did to her and then returned her back to her mom. I tried to turn my daughter against me. All of my children um, have been diagnosed with separation anxiety. I'm sure you can imagine why. And I'm glad I'm doing this on the 31st day of October. Some people call this Halloween. <laughs> because there is witchcraft involved in this. Witchcraft is a religion in America. And it's legal. Just like pedophilia and all other manner of sin. 
sickness and dis-ease. I do a lot of emphasis on these masks. Uh, they do a lot of emphasis on that. Love to cover up stuff. When you vote for me, and put me in the White House, you have a guarantee I'm going to make it to the White House. Because I've lived through the storm, and I'm still standing. If you'd like to be a part of my campaign and vote me in and even challenge the, the ballot process even at this time, because if you notice they shut down the public voice during this election so you cannot speak freely and they monitor who they are welcome to speak uh, when they do the Zooms, etc., and they just hit a button and cut you off. Also, uh, the federal government has been giving uh, my abusers access to me. They give them my location, give them personal information about me, and have done nothing about their being abusive towards me. And now that has fallen over into my children and my grandchildren. I'm beginning to wonder about the rights and the fight of the woman. The right rights are not respected. The wrong rights are. Kamala Harris, I call her homewrecker Harris. She was a babysitter and now is married to the father of the home where she was babysitting and has now allowed pedophiles access to their victims. And you all want to put her in the White House? She doesn't represent me in any form, shape, or fashion. Not as a woman, not as somebody with color in her skin, nothing. She does not represent me. I am not in support of her. No. Kanye West mysteriously, Donald Trump was his hero and this and that and the other, then all of a sudden, he claims he discovered Jesus, which I don't believe. Uh, but I'm not the one to determine who's saved and not saved, but I find that a bit mysterious that all of a sudden, now he decides he's running for president. Then people fall out with me because I tell them I don't want him to be my vice president. I have a vice presidential running mate. Her name is Nikki LaShannon Kies, also spelled pronounced keys, Stinnett. And she's out of California. And she's a good running mate. She would be a good vice president with me. She can tell you her own story. Because this is only a glimpse of my story. I was abused before I even had children. And the government covered it up. My children were conceived through abuse and the government has covered it up. But I chose and I decided that I was keeping my children. And those of you who feel like I should not have kept my children, keep that to yourselves because I love my children. And I've proven it. My baby boy has been forced to still stay in the home with his dad who abused him. All of my rights are reserved for this video and all of my videos. Remember to vote for me and I, someone made a comment, oh the list continues, no I was at the top of the list. I was a candidate before anyone else announced their candidacy. I'm Reverend Pamela and Pinky Butts.